Hey guys, what's up? So initially I was planning on uh, making another video, this time with my PGY tech bags, like uh, like the black one that you see over here. So I was kind of like thinking, you know, the usual stuff that I do, like film here in the office, shoot some B-rolls, but something unexpected happened. And now I have to go to Victoria, BC for the weekend. Well, not actually the weekend, because today's Thursday. So we have to go there later today and then back on Sunday. So that's for like four days. So I figured I'm just going to take the stuff with me, film in Victoria, hopefully show the bags in action. And hopefully the, the hotel room is going to be nice enough for me to be able to film there. I haven't done this, so this will be a first for me. So for now, I guess... Uh, Let's uh, let's pack the camera bag. So here's the bag, PGY Tech One Mo Two, twenty five L, and first off, main camera, A seven four, twenty four one oh five, the best all rounder goes here. Tamron seventy to one eighty. Okay, trusty thirty five one point four Sigma. And the 85 Sigma 1.4, perfect combo. And to play it safe, we have Sigma 50 1.4. This base should be good enough for a tech pouch. There you go. Okay, so four days. I need some power like this. Uh, let's put it here. Bring another one. This one, 65 watt. MacBook cable, cable here, USB-C, there, so two more USB-C cables, so we got three USB-C cables, MacBook cable, Sony and Ricoh chargers, then we have SSDs for backups, should be enough, there you go, barely breathe, this one is a uh, Charger, phone charger. I don't think we have see. So compact. But I got a Apple Watch, AirPods, over right here. 10 to 18 F4, APS-C. I've been playing with this, with the, with this one, with ZVE1, and I'm getting really good results. So I want to take it with me. But so you can see, I don't have space, I can put it here, but then it's going to be like, you know, moving around. Now, PGY Tech sent me this. It's uh, like a protective wrap, maybe from here. There, that's pretty much all I need to bring. There's a quick access pocket here. Small rig, multi-tool here. Main camera bag. Now this is the one go solo. This is gonna be like on me for quick access. So in here, we're gonna have Ricoh GR3X action camera, action three. I'll have my wallet here. Okay. This camera that's recording ZV-1 and 20 mil will be on this one, should be all set. Hey guys, so quick update. Um, we just got off the ferry and uh, we're in Victoria now. I'm just charging the car as we speak. It's um, 5.30 p.m. and uh, I'm also using the internal microphone of the ZVE1 so I'm not sure how clear the audio is yes we'll find out and um, I'm looking at myself there on the screen this is at ISO 12800 it looks pretty good
guys. Made it to the hotel. I'm just gonna rest up a bit, get dinner maybe, and then uh, do the bag reviews tomorrow. Hey guys, uh, we're back. So today's Friday. Um, right now it's 6:30 in the morning, and I kind of wanted to go out and take a sunrise photo by the lighthouse. So I'm driving there now. I'm gonna drive there now. And sunrise is not until 8 or 7.58 a.m. So we got plenty of time to kind of like um, uh, pick our spots. But right now it's so cloudy. I'm not sure if we're going to get like a pretty good sunrise. Um, I'm hoping we do. But still, we wouldn't know if we just like stayed at the hotel, right? So yeah, I'm going to drive there now. Uh, take you guys with me. And then there's one bag that I'm going to show you once we get there. Hey guys, so we're sort of here on the spot. Um, tap out on the car. It's cold. And uh, let me show you what we're looking at. You see it? Uh, frame the lighthouse like that. Sunrise. Doesn't look too good right now. But uh, yeah, we'll see. 7.37, time check about 20 minutes so we'll set up take some test shots and uh, hopefully we can get something hotel room right now um sorry about the mess but figured let's finish this today i'll show you the bags right now as you can see this is the bag that i was using yesterday when um when we went to the lighthouse this is the pg white tech one go cloud bag it's very small like um it can fit like an extra lens if you're holding the camera body with you which is like what i did yesterday or you can put the body here, remove the lens, and then put the lens inside as well. So on the inside, or from the outside first, this is like a very soft microfiber leather. It's not leather leather, but it's nice in the hand. And then to access what you have inside, uh, focus, okay. Okay. You know what? Let me do product showcase. Okay, product showcase on. To access what's inside, there's a flap here attached by magnets. And then you just pull this one. That one, it snaps right back in. Okay, and this is what I had yesterday. I have the Tamron 70 to 180. Because remember, I was holding my camera with the 24105. There's a pocket here, which has one ND filter. And then there's also a side pocket now the side pocket has it has my dji mic uh another filter and an extra battery that's what you get inside so you have this um this bigger compartment where i had the lens pretty deep okay. and then on the side there's a pocket now the pocket here where i had the other filter on attached by magnet too so you can put like i don't know maybe batteries um i guess filters or wallet that will work and there's also magnets on this side so you got like one two and another one of that so you have three magnets to kind of like hold everything in place 
just like so. As advertised, this is kind of like an on-the-go camera bag. You can use it like the way I use it, which is shoulder bag, just like that. Or you can also take this off. There's um, like a carabiner here, there. Strap is off. You can just attach the two carabiners, just like so. And now you have a handbag. And you can use it as a packing cube. So you can like dump your stuff here, microphone, lenses, fold it nicely. And you have kind of like a, a makeshift packing cube. That's the third mode. The fourth mode that they were saying is that you can use this strap as a camera strap too. Okay, so got a strap on 27.4. And so basically you just attach it, you know, that triangle thing there, carabiner triangle thing, and then you use it as a camera strap, right? Now this comes in two sizes, which is medium and small. Right now I have the medium, but it only comes with one color, which is this black one. But they also have this one. It's a lot similar to the cloud bag, but this is the drawstring bag, the one go drawstring bag. And from the name itself, this is a tad bigger. I also get a strap. So same mode, you can take out the strap of this one, use it as a camera strap, and then just use the bag as itself with a drawstring. Or if you want to use this as a shoulder bag, you just attach the same camera strap. And it's the same idea, basically. It has the, the carabiner and then just loop it there for comparison. And this only comes in one size, which is this size. And you have two color options. This is the forest green and the other one is ivory, which is more like off white ish. Now let's take a look at the um, inside the drawstring bag. So it's bigger from the outside. It's bigger from the inside too. So you can see you have basically the compartment here in the middle, where you can put whatever camera. Let's just stick with camera. Camera, maybe smaller lens here, and then another lens here on the side. So two lenses, and you also still have like a pocket here for smaller items like um battery sd card microfiber cloth in my opinion though i don't know i'd rather go for this one the one go cloud um but the one go cloud feels more premium especially on the outside but if you're going to be carrying more gear just use this one instead so again uh here's the two bags here's the one go cloud the one go drawstring size difference this one is currently being sold at uh, 49.95 this one, 10 bucks cheaper, $39.95. I'll have them linked down below. And um, as far as I know, PGY Tech is having a holiday sale going on until December 20th, where you get like 30% off, I believe the entire site. I'll make sure to check that. You saw the backpack when we were packing the, the stuff. You saw the tech pouch. I think one thing that I didn't show you was this one. So I also have a PGY Tech wash pouch you know, for toiletries. And um, yeah, I don't have anything inside this already. I took everything out of the toilet, in the washroom. One thing I can assure you is that my wife's happy that I don't have to give her all my toiletry stuff and have it stored with hers. Cause I have, cause I have my own one now. That's basically my kit. Uh, that's what I brought here, um, here to Victoria for a day trip. Right now, Saturday, um, heading back tomorrow. So this one, 25L backpack, holds all the camera gear, everyday carry wash pouch for the toiletries. This bags, or specifically the one that I used the other day, the one go cloud bag for when I just kind of like go out and about. So yeah, that's, um, Basically what I brought here with me, um, camera gear and essentials for a quick four day trip. And I'll have this link down below. Uh, some of the links are affiliate links. 
As always, you know the deal with that. I got a small commission if you use those links to purchase without any additional cost to you. And that helps the channel. Um, I wanna keep pushing this YouTube channel uh, going into 2024. And any interaction that I get from you guys is really appreciated. So if you like this video, comment if you got any questions hit the comments or hit the like button if you haven't subscribed yet i'd appreciate that and um it's almost christmas right now it's the 16th and uh, yeah i'll probably have hopefully one more if not two videos that i'll be posting before the year ends so keep an eye out on that and again thank you guys for watching i'll see you on the next one